In this video, we're going to look at some tips and recommendations for deploying licenses on Google Workspace for Education. In order for users to take advantage of Google Workspace for Education paid features, they must have a license assigned to them. First, let's start by looking at how we can manually assign licenses in the Google Admin Console. I'm going to start by searching for a user who I want to give a license to. Now let's select that user and scroll down and select licenses. Next, I'm going to click into Google Workspace for Education licenses, not assigned. And now let's select this drop down. On this domain, we have Google Workspace for Education Plus licenses. As this is the Plus edition, we need to assign staff and student licenses. This user is a member of staff, so I'm going to select the staff license, toggle the status switch, and then press save. This user now has a license assigned, and you can see the number of available licenses has decreased from eight to seven licenses available. You can monitor the number of licenses you have by going to the left-hand menu and selecting Billing, Subscriptions, and then from this page, we can see all of the Google Workspace licenses we have available on our domain. All users will have a Google Workspace for Education Fundamentals license by default. Below this, we have our Education Plus licenses, which can be assigned to students. And last of all, we have the Education Plus staff licenses, which can be assigned to our staff. Clicking on the number assigned will take us to a new page. And this applies a filter showing users who already have that license assigned to them. So we've just looked at how to manually assign a license. Let's look at how to automatically assign a license in the admin console. We can again do this by going to billing and subscriptions. Next, we need to select the license type which we want to assign. In this case, I'm going to select Google Workspace for Education Plus staff licenses. As you can see here, auto assign is currently off. Let's configure that now by selecting manage licensing settings. Firstly, as I want to auto assign staff Education Plus licenses, I'm going to select the staff OU on the left hand side. Next, let's click into automatic licensing and toggle this to on for auto assign Google Workspace for Education Plus staff licenses. And now I'm going to select override to save these changes. Now that this is configured, it means that any new users added into the staff OU will automatically be applied a Google Workspace for Education Plus staff license. However, the downside of this is that if there are any suspended staff users in that OU, they'll also receive a license, taking up a license where it isn't necessary. So let's look at how we can manage this. To find any suspended users, I'm going to go to directory in the left hand menu, then select users. Next, let's select staff. And then I'm going to add a filter. The filter I'm going to add is user status. And let's select suspended and press apply. As you can see here, we have two users who are suspended in the staff OU. So to move these into our suspended OU I created earlier, I'm going to select both of these users, then go to more options, and then select change organizational unit. And now let's change it from staff to suspended, and then press continue, and then select change. 
Now if we remove that filter and click into suspended, we can see both of those users have been successfully moved. And now if we go back into billing and subscriptions, we can see that all of our licenses have now been automatically assigned to the users located in the staff OU. So in this video, we've looked at how a Google admin can use the admin console to manually or automatically assign licenses using the Google admin console. There are also other methods available such as using Google Cloud Directory Sync. You might be already using this if you're syncing your local Active Directory to Google Workspace. Google Cloud Directory Sync also allows you to assign licenses at the same time. Another method is to use a third party command line tool such as GAM, Google Apps Manager. This is an open source tool that can use Google's APIs to create users groups, but it can also manage licenses. With multiple methods, it's important to be consistent about how you assign licenses. With a number of options available, it's a really good idea to just choose one option to use going forward to avoid any conflicting results. Well, that's it for this video about licensing on Google Workspace for Education. Thanks for watching.